Hello, sixth grade math students. This is your first video lesson. So listen carefully, which means stop what you're doing right now and listen carefully. You're going to do your video on complex fractions. So you can read, you can watch, and take notes as many times as you want. But take your time and do your best job possible. Hey guys, I'm Mrs. Drub. I have a definition for you that you'll need to know. Complex fractions have a fraction in the numerator or denominator or both. This is an example of a complex fraction. There's a fraction in the numerator. Hi, this is another example of a complex fraction when the fraction is in the denominator. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is an example of a complex fraction. There is a fraction in the numerator and in the denominator. So, for example, if we have 3 fourths divided by 4, this is a complex fraction, so we're going to simplify this. Remember, fractions are just another way of writing a division problem, so let's rewrite it. So we have 3 fourths divided by 4. I can write that as 4 over 1, because any whole number as a fraction is just putting it over 1. Now, another thing to remember is dividing fractions is as easy as pi. Flip the second fraction over and multiply. So we keep that first fraction the same, change the division to multiplication, and we flip that second fraction over, giving me one fourth. When multiplying fractions, you multiply across the numerator and you multiply across the denominator. Three times one is equal to three. Four times four is equal to 16. That cannot be simplified any farther, so that is your final answer. Take it away, Mrs. Tiller. All right, everyone. Uh, Mr. Reardon taught you one method for simplifying a complex fraction. I'm going to teach you a second method. We're using the same complex fraction. Three-fourths is in the numerator, and four is in the denominator. In this method, you're going to take the numerator and the denominator and write them both as fractions if they're not already. So remember from Mr. Reardon's lesson, this can be written as a fraction by writing it over one. <clears throat> then you need to find the least common denominator of these two fractions. The least common denominator for these two fractions is four. Once you have the least common denominator, you multiply the least common denominator times the numerator and then you multiply the least common denominator times the denominator so that you can have your simplified fraction. So start with 3 fourths, your numerator, and multiply it times the least common denominator. Remember from Mr. Reardon's video, you multiply straight across. 3 times 4 is 12, 4 times 1 is 4. Always simplify. So remember this line means division. 12 divided by 4 is 3. Then you do the same thing with the denominator. 4 over 1 times the least common denominator, which is 4 over 1. 4 times 4 is 16. 1 times 1 is 1. And simplify, it's just 16. This is your new numerator. This is your new denominator. So simplify this fraction would be 3 sixteenths. Meow.